Hey guys, we're here for some more standard. Uh, just a couple wins away from Mythic, hopefully here. Currently at Diamond rank 1. And yeah, just loving the deck. Um, I don't think I've made any changes here since the last uh, video. But um, ended up again going with a slightly lower land count. And really liking the interaction of Frantic Scapegoat. So if you're new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. And if you do like my content, please consider subscribing, maybe sharing it with a friend who might also like my content, dropping a comment or adding a like. And uh, for my returning viewers, thank you guys so much again for coming back and supporting me. I really do appreciate it. You guys do mean the world to me. Thank you so much. So let's go ahead and jump into some games and let's see if we can hit Mythic. If you do really like my content and you want to, you know, leave a tip, thank me, um, there is a way to do it. So if you go to the little more icon, um, you can actually donate via super thanks. So if you want to leave a tip, um, I greatly appreciate it. You don't have to, but if you want to show your support and your thanks, there's another way to do that. And you can do that right in the, um, through YouTube here. So, all right, let's get into some games. All right, yeah, opening hand looks great. We've got a lot of stuff to do. Nice uh, turn one scapegoat into turn two invasion. I wonder what they take with Cavern Bat. That makes sense, I guess, getting the end of festivities. Um, that's okay, we can get Invasion going, we could just get um, Feld on. But I think I like Invasion here. Although against Green Black, they've got a lot of removal, so it's maybe not quite as good. I could see just like trying to push damage, but I think it's tempting enough because I want to stop the lifelink here, so I think I'm going to go for the invasion. And actually this is nice because this way, if we draw a land, we can then do the last four points of damage with the other invasion. Okay, and that seems like the play. Yeah, I think just Invasion of Regatha here. Hopefully they don't have another piece of removal. But if they do, yeah, it's unfortunate. Okay, so now we can get the other invasion going. Um, we can just try to go face and get rid of the Dread Knight. I kind of like getting the other invasion flipped because then we can do extra damage with all of our spells here and that feels pretty good. So I think I'm going to go for that play. So now we can just go um, like lightning strike to take out their preacher. We could even end the festivities if we cared about the Dread Knight. I don't think we do. I think we just want to get rid of Preacher here.
Now we can go in the festivities plus the damage from Defiant Thunder Maw to take out their whole team. And that feels really good. So I think probably just Codebreaker here. We could also go like Kumano faces Kakazan. But I think I'd rather go Codebreaker into end the festivities, wipe their team, and just send. Yeah, that's going to do it. Yeah, the extra damage buff from the the flipped version of the invasion of Ragatha. It's pretty sick. Okay, opening hand looks great. I love the idea that we can give uh, Codebreaker here Menace. Super cool. I think we just want to set up for our spells here. Yeah, we'll definitely give that Menace. It does make him a little bit more likely to try to burn it down, but... So we could play with fire plus monstrous rage, which feels pretty good. Um, I also just like going invasion here. Yeah, I think invasion on the adversary and then just sw swing, start knocking it down feels pretty good too. Alright, so we send Scapegoat at the Invasion to finish it off, um, and then we can go Codebreaker plus Monstrous Rage. Actually, probably Codebreaker plus Play With Fire. Hmm. Because, yeah, we'll have one here. This will be a three power. They'll both be three powers. I do want to take out this Chandra. Yeah, I guess we could just hold this too, just to see what they do. We don't really need it now. Um, I think I'm, maybe I'll just hold it. I think we just uh, take it here, and then if they want to like try to cast a spell, we can just use uh, play with fire in response. Yeah, that's gonna do it. All right, here we go, mythic. Let's 
Take a look, see where we're at. Number 738, nice. But yeah, I've, I've really been liking Frantic's, Frantic Scapegoat, it seems really good. Especially since we're kind of like a lower creature count, so being able to like recur Phoenix from the graveyard is less likely. So that kind of makes me want to do Scapegoat even more. Uh, let's mulligan this. This is definitely not very active, but I don't want to go to five, so I think I'll keep this and just throw back a mountain. And the festivities is pretty good against Boros, though. Got demolition. The question is, do they have Night Errant here? Yes, they do. Okay. Alright, let's at least slow him down a little bit here and then try to set up for our next one. So we could just go Invasion, um, play Kumano, I think we just want to go Invasion here. Don't really have any super great plays, just be mana efficient. Yeah, unfortunately, if they get the Night Errant out, it's quite a bit harder. Here we're hoping to like draw into like Lightning Strike, something like that. Oof, I guess that's gonna do it. And I don't think it was worth using a and the festivities, like just for the single one, one. I think we wanted to like wait and try to get the uh, the rest of the one ones off the Gleeful Demolition. All right, let's take a look at the stats of the deck. Really happy to have hit Mythic. All right, so currently seventy one percent win rate, twenty wins and eight losses. So seventy nine percent win rate on the play, and sixty four percent win rate on the draw. So overall, uh, really happy here with how the deck is playing out. Currently 75% against the Mirror Mono Red, 83% against Boros. I think that was the first loss I've had against uh, Boros Convoke. 67% against Blue White Control, 100% against Mono White, and then 50-50 with the Mirror. Um, haven't picked up a win yet against Esper, and then um, just a couple games here against some of the other matches. Doing well against Gruul, Golgari, Mono Black, and then one loss here against Rakdos. So overall, really happy. And thanks again, guys, for watching. Um, you guys are awesome, and we'll see you next time.